guys, welcome back to my channel, and today we're making this delicious cheesecake casserole. Look at that. So it's with cottage cheese, and then you can see these raisins on top, and it's these small squares, and trust me, they taste delicious. For a large bowl, you want to go ahead and add yourself 500 grams of dry cottage cheese, or actually you can use wet cottage cheese, uh, three eggs, Go there. 100 to 150 grams of sugar and 100 grams of flour. Go ahead and take a spoon and slowly start mixing it. It will be a bit hard at first, but once you get it started, it shouldn't be too hard. Don't forget, you don't need to mix it until smooth because after this we will blend it so that's going to mix it nice and well so there you go just mix it roughly until it's nice and combined we will be using this mixer so basically what you do you plug it in press the button and it uh, blends at the bottom or you can just pour this into a blender or food processor so now just start blending it, just like that. So now it should be nice and smooth. And now go ahead and use your spoon and just scrape off all the excess from your blender. Now, just for a bit of flavor, add a splash of vanilla extract. Now you can go ahead and just use your spoon and stir that in till well combined. Guys, now you want to grab yourself a round, or actually it doesn't really matter the shape, but a nice and small dish. Now grab yourself some vegetable oil, drizzle a little bit on there, and take a cooking brush and just spread it out. Now you need to get it like everywhere on the pan or else your batter will stick, and that's obviously not good. Go ahead and grab your bowl with the batter and start pouring it into your pan. Now make sure you get everything just like that. Now wait a second and I will go get myself a spatula. I got it. Okay, so now using your spatula, mine is a probably a different shape than yours but that's okay as long as you're using a spatula that works you just get out all the rest from those in your bowl because once again you don't want to put anything to waste now go ahead and put your casserole into the oven at 350 degrees for 35 to 40 minutes it's nice and cooked, go ahead and remove from the oven. Now get a wire rack and a spatula and go ahead and put your casserole right onto your wire rack and let cool completely. Okay, as you can see, I added some raisins on top and stuck a few inside because uh, raisins go really well with cottage cheese. And yeah, they look like uh, chocolate chips, but they're not optional, but you can add a little handful of raisins on the top. Now, once it cools down completely, transfer it onto a cutting board, grab yourself a knife, and let's cut this thing open. So we can cut it in slices, just like this. Look at that, it looks so good. Hey guys, it's time for taste testing. So let's try this delicious cheesecake casserole. Ready? Mmm. Wow. It's not too sweet. Um, tastes really, really good. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you love my recipes and want so many more, make sure you 
hit that subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you all next time. Bye!